Hello, I'm Entrisim and welcome to Let's Try House of the Dying Sun, which was also formerly named Enemy Starfighter. Uh, this game's on out on early access about now, and it is a, as you might have guessed, uh, Starfighter style shooter where you basically play a combat flight sim in this kind of arcadey style environment with the ability to also switch between different craft and tell them what to do. So you can do a little bit of strategy in there as well. Uh, we're going to be diving straight in. This is, I really like watching the menu. It's a bit like From the Death where, you know, I can watch the menu for quite a while. Look at this. It's got like flak, and there's a shield over there that you can see the bubble. What are those? Missiles. Are they missing or are they intending to go past? They're intending to go past. Anyway, we're going to dive straight in and play. The Emperor is dead. The Royal Guard has been scattered. A false king sits upon the throne. Execute the Emperor's final edict. Hunt the traitor lords. And bring ruin to the people. I mean, that sounds good to me. Hello. Okay, so this is a tutorial mission. Uh, I'm not going to make you sit through me playing the very basic tutorial mission on how to actually move your craft around. But I will just talk about the control scheme that I'm using, because I know it matters for a lot of people. Um, I, I'm only using a controller for this. I'm not using keyboard and mouse or joystick. The problem with joystick is it doesn't have... Um, oh god, no, I don't mean to do that. Ah! The problem with a joystick is it doesn't have the, the buttons for roll and pitch very easily. I mean, you can do it to an extent, but... They do recommend a controller. Uh, so, yeah, I'm using controller. I'm also using face track no AR. Now, this this game has track AR capability, which means it, it can use track AR to follow your face around. Face track no AR basically uses a webcam. It's not as accurate, but you can do this. That's just me moving my head. And my webcam's watching me and like, let's have a look. Oh, you looked up. Oh, you looked down. And the problem is when I do this, by the way, that I'll be like, someone's shooting at the top and I'll, I'll crouch down instinctively in my chair and then I'll find that suddenly I'm looking at like this in the game, which is not helpful. Uh, but it's kind of amusing. So anyway, I'm going to just fast forward through the tutorial and I will catch you guys in a second. Okay, so, right, that's our training mission. Now we have first mission. So... Missions take place in this kind of little uh, map with this sort of branching uh, mission tree. And then you get this added currency of some kind, crowns. We've got four crowns currently. And then you can pick a new mission. We've got the Miser. Um, Traitor Lord Thule has been given charge of the Frontier Territories. And is running inspections on the rich ore clusters he inherited. Purge him. Assassinate Lord Thule. Bonus, kill his escorts. Okay. Uh, let's do it on Warlord difficulty. I'm probably going to suck, but sure. Your foes are bloodthirsty, intelligent, and savage. They have years to prepare. Okay. Yep, I'm I'm ready. <sighs> now you can of course come back and do them on a high difficulty with more like stuff unlocked. We currently have like nothing unlocked. As you can see, there are plenty of other options that we just haven't unlocked. So uh yeah, let's let's launch. This is gonna go well. Reset to my view. Okay, there we go. Alright, so there's two bonus craft, and then there's Lord Thul. I'm just gonna make sure we take out everything if we can. Oh god. Firing time! Firing time! Firing time! Okay, okay, our shields are down, our shields are down. Shields are down. Shields are down. God. Go on this asteroid, go on this asteroid. And then, drift. Where's the nearest enemy? The boost. Don't look down, don't look down, don't look down. Still ejected. It's fine. Right, where is he? Where is he? 
Go for it. Come on. Yeah! Okay, we, we took way too much damage that time, but uh, sure. Let's kill that. Oh, he ejected! I just rammed his body. I mean, that works. Oh god. Uh, flagship arrival imminent. Let's get out of here. Flagship's gonna arrive in eight seconds. We've got to get out before they have a lot of support in the area. Because we'll get pasted by the flagship. The flagship is nothing to joke about. Aha! I'm out of here! Didn't get me! Okay. You see what I meant about, like, I crouch down at some point. I'm, like, trying to not do that. Yeah. Don't do that. That's bad. Face track and OIR. Great, but I shouldn't do that. But, yeah, we got the uh, escorts. Bonuses. Sweet. Okay, now I've got two more missions. Uh, raid. Destroy supply crash. Make example of workers. Or defend, assault, transport, hangman. Bonus, uh, royal guards must survive. Ooh, but if we win, we get a plus one intercept, a fleet size increase. So we get like a, a wingman. And if we win that, we get a fury missile secondary weapon. Okay, I'm, I want the wingman. Yeah, let's do the cartographer. Uh, INV Lance has been captured, has captured the traitor lord of Jorb, but it has been disabled in hostile territory. INV Hangman is being sent to recover the prisoner, defend it. Okay, defend it, and bonus, we defend the guards. Yeah, we'll do it on this. Yeah, we'll do it on the hard setting. Hey, wingman. How you doing? Okay, so... I'm gonna leave it on pause for a moment. Let's go have a look at what the situation is. So that's like one of the royal escorts. So is that. Those are the enemies. God, how many enemies are there? One, two, three. One, two, three. Four. Oh god. There's four, and then there's these little fighters. So these are like tiny little fighters, and these are bigger with subsystems, right? Which is why they've got secondary um, bars attached to them. Those are subsystems. Okay, so I can I can tell my wingman to do the attacking. Right, let's let's go back into the fighter and control it. Alright, so first plan is to kill these. And then move on to the group that's slightly further away. Okay, when am I in range? Yeah! Oh yeah, right. Yeah! Another one dies to the dust, right. That's like all the big ones, I think? Or is, no, there's another big one, there's another big one. Whoa! There we go. Okay, right. Just gotta get the fighters now. Right, where's the next fight? Where's the next fight? Come on, we got you. We got you. Come here. Come here. That's the closest one. Come on, there we go. Lock on. It feels, it feels. 
It feels like it's captured like the, the dog fighting from Battlestar Galactica. It feels like I'm flying a Viper. Because you can actually drift, like you can actually travel in the opposite direction to uh, which you're facing. Which is what I'm doing when I'm like, when you can hear the, the booster going silent. Come on. Yeah! Right, so, I'm just gonna get you, come on. And the way the weapons sound and the little vibration and the, like, muted sound, that's terrible. Right, I'm gonna go drift. Where's the enemy, where's the enemy? Alright, finish off the enemy, we've gotta finish off the enemy. Ow! Whoa! That enemy up there. I'm now at gun because the enemy flagship is here. We'll have to escape when we can, but we gotta we gotta hold the line first. We gotta hold the line. Wait, let's just double check. Extraction point. Escape with prisoner. Done. Okay, so actually it's time to leave. Okay, time to leave. Should we kill that one in front of us? I mean, if, if we get the chance. Done. Right. Time to leave. Oh, God. Time to leave. Time to leave. Time to leave. Time to leave. The flagship is really taking us on. Come on, shields. Shields, hold out. Shields are down. Shields are down. Hull is taking damage. Warp. Wait, no. What? Oh, they didn't get away. I thought it had been complete. Okay. We need to wait longer for them to escape. Fine. But we got one fighter, right? That's what matters. Could have surrendered uh, many things, including the whereabouts of a cache of starfighter components. Okay. Nice. So we now have got uh, an extra starfighter. We can do a uh, raid at Sumir's Cloud. A new way station in the early stage of construction at Sumir's Cloud. Destroy the cache. Purge the workers. Destroy supply cash, but let's make example of the workers. Yeah, let's make an example of those workers. Uh, we'll do it on Warlord. I'm probably going to suck at this, but sure. Now, you can basically switch between craft. So if our craft gets destroyed, we do get to jump into the next one. So, it's not all of us. Actually, let us... I'm now fielding two fighters. You may switch to any fighter in your fleet from your technical view. You must give orders to units and hold the D-pad to activate. Okay, and let's cover me. Right. Anyway, uh, are we paused? I believe we are. That looks like a supply cache to me. That looks like a fleet of fighters. That looks like a supply cache. No idea what you are. Beginnings of something. Shield system. Oh, shield system. Okay. Fighter... Fighter, okay. Well, I want you to cover me, and I'm going to go in and target this. Is there going to target it? Select objective. Zoom in. Uh. Eh. We're fine. Right. Right, move, move, dodge. Right, this gives us an attack run on the container. Reloading, 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 keep firing. Container's getting awfully close. Right, now, flip over, flip over, flip over. Use the drift system, now we're facing the other way, and now we're gonna fast forward. Come on, hit him, there we go. Right, who's next? One up here. Is there any other enemies around? I thought there were more enemies. That's my fighter. Those are the workers. Ah, oh, yeah, no, no, yeah, definitely. Attack, attack, attack. You can't be allowed to leave. We must purge you. Purge! Yeah. 
Take that! You've been purged. You must, you must obey us, not the false emperor. Okay, this is a shield, so I can't fire until I'm through a shield. Well, I can fire, I just won't do anything. Like, if I select my torpedo... And then... Shield? There we go. Ooh, fancy. Oh, hello, there's, there's lots of fire going on now. Oh yeah, my guns didn't go through the shield. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh damn! That's that thing's tough. It's got it's like a Corvette or something. It's got turrets and all kinds. Ah! Take that! Oh, I'm I'm down. My shield's down. My shield's down. My shield's down. Create a flagship imminent. Right. Destroy the cargo. Containers. Right, get the extraction point. Flagship's here. Come on, boost. Yes, totally out there in time. I really like the, the aesthetics of this, like, the simplistic polygon style. It's retro, but it works. Actually, 52%. Ah, give me that. New weapon. Also known as the Yellow Jacket, the 6B Fury Launcher delivers variable salvers of anti-fighter warheads to the intended target, chopping through shields, but struggling against hull. Anti-fighter warheads. But good against shields, not hull. Okay, so I've got to find, like, heavy fighters or something, maybe? Okay, what's next? Master Arms. Kill Master Arms, bonus scan of containers. We get a torpedo. Or the Cleric. Fire sums were left unchecked and now the traitor cannot help but gloat. Silence him. Assassinate and destroy sentry guns. Okay, I don't get any bonuses. I get a torpedo bonus, actually. Um, I'll take the torpedo bonus first. Oh, seven. Now, this is worrying. Uh, sure. Okay, so they're like super like accurate at like jinking through targets and stuff. I kind of like the blunderbuss so far. I'm gonna stick with the blunderbuss. Maybe we'll tr change the yellow jacket like next time or something. But uh, I'm, I'm really digging the blunderbuss. Because when my railgun like overheats and needs to reload or whatever, I just switch to the blunderbuss and it works pretty well for combo. Okay. So what we got? That's my fellow. That's a bonus cash. Bonus cash as well. Oh, and those are the things down there I have to destroy. So, right, I'm going to just say destroy those for now. I think I've switched craft. I've got a sentimental attachment to my craft, so I'm going to just switch to my craft. Is that my craft? I have no idea. I'm really lost now. There we go. That's my craft. Don't hit my ally. Oh, going through the asteroids like this. I feel like Starbuck out of Battle Star. This is amazing. Sorry, this is... Oh, this moment really... I'm sold on this one now. Um, I'm just flying around for funsies now. Uh, where is my target? There we go. Whoa! I pressed the wrong button. That would be the wrong button. That would be exciting. <laughs> I told you it wasn't any good in this game. I'm probably gonna have to restart the mission. That that's that's not good. Right, where is my closest? Uh, let's go to here. Yeah. Right, that is my target. So if I pull up and around, 
Escaping uh, enemy. Oh god, no, no, no. Any reinforcements? That's not good. Whoa, that's really not good. Oh god, that's really, really not good. Wow, that that didn't go well. Um, sure. Cover me. We're gonna go straight and just destroy anything that's there. I, I don't care. If one subjective comes up in front of me, I will shoot it. I will. There we go. Heavy torpedo out. Ah, your shield's off. Oh, come on. Where is it? 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 Shooting it. Oh god. It's a lot of fire I'm taking. Right. Hold still, hold still, hold still. They're calling reinforcements. So to get away. Wait, wrong one. There we go. It got away. No? No, it's still there. Right. Okay, where is it? It's behind me. So I'm gonna have to pull like a, a Power off turn, power off turn, power off turn. Burn, burn, burn. That's really close. There we go, killed it. They've ejected, they've ejected though, right. Oh god. Where have they ejected to? I can't see him. That's my other fighter. There we go. Kill, kill, kill. Okay, unpause. Scan all containers. We could scan all containers. That's a flagship over there. Yep, they destroyed my other interceptor. Right. Park up. Oh no, that was meant to be parking up! I didn't break properly. Oh god, I died at that point. I, I really hate myself for that. Okay, we can do this. Okay, um. Right. Enter. Up. Cover me. Burn. That's the one there I want. Right. Change over to our scarab torpedo. That's not locked. That's behind an asteroid, you mini. Right. Now, feel free to lock. Okay. Enemy carriers launching fires, sure. But. Mm. Mm. No! How can I do that every time? You no, know I'm just gonna restart. Ah, uh, restart. Um, the thing is, like, I'm not used to B being back when R1 is. Uh, when R L. T's accelerate, like, when LF tricks accelerate, I kind of don't think of it as being counteracted by something on the D-pad. I could just change the controls, but I think I just need to get used to them, really. I just need to get good. Okay, let's boost. Uh, change to heavy weapons.
Yeah, yeah, it's the one you can fight. Is that no? Then drift. Okay, we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. Barely any effect on shield. Let's go in behind the shield. Stay in the shield. There we go. Done. Okay, I think we scanned, we only scanned one of those. We need to scan these as well. Oh god. Well, that's worrying. You know what, let's just do a, a flip, scan these, and I think we'll just leave. I, I don't want to scan the extra ones, I don't want to risk it. Scan these, so that's a, what is it, like literally a, almost a 180 flip. So let's do a drift flip. And then boost. Okay, where's the flagship? I want to look at the flagship. That's not the flagship. Where? That's the flagship. Oh God! Look at that. I get any closer? No. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's that's not good. Okay, so there's bonuses down here and there's bonuses over here. Yeah, I'm I'm just gonna jump out. I, I think I've done a good enough job at not dying for today. Flagship will get its weapons online any second. Jump! Punch it! Ah! I don't know, this, this game gets exactly the feel that I would want from a Battlestar Galactica space fighter game. Like, the guns feel good. There's a little bit of a rumble, but not too much. Because, you know, the guns are outside your ship in zero gravity and vacuum, and they're not going to be making a lot of noise. Uh, don't need bonuses, but oh well. I've now got the AF-2 torpedo. Omniflak weapon? Assassinate the Broodmother? Plus three destroyers. Oh, wow, three destroyers? Okay, that's cool. Uh, but yeah, this... If you want me to play more, let me know down below. Uh, I will be happy to do so, so uh, please do let me know down below if you want me to play more. But uh, yeah, that's it for uh, this uh, video. Um, if you like, please like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. Let me know what you think about the game as well down below. I'm really kind of digging it personally. Um, I've always really wanted a nice arcade style space shooter that kind of just... It's not too overly complicated, and it also, like, kind of looks cool, and this does it in a really kind of neat way. So, uh, yeah, this is out on Steam Early Access now. Bear in mind, it is Early Access, but it is fairly close to being finished. Uh, I've been following the development of this game for, like, a year now, so I'm quite happy to be able to be a bit hands-on with it. But, yeah, until next time, stay shiny.